What's up, y'all? This is Simon from Grants Gator Done Lawn Care. Hope everybody's had a pretty good week on this Saturday morning. Um, it feels really good outside. Um, had some rain come through yesterday. Of course, my area probably got a teaspoon amount of rain compared to the surrounding areas around me. You know, it's like the storms get to my little neighborhood and they split in two and re rejoin once they go around me. So, you know, if it wasn't for me sprinkling you know my yard with my, my own water you know we wouldn't hardly get no rain and i tried out a new product shout out to keon from executive cuts um he sent me two different type of um seed and fertilizer mixes and i personally tried one on my own lawn to see exactly you know how it takes on so again i appreciate that up there um executive cuts um just want to shoot a quick video, just something that's been on my mind for some things that's been happening over the last couple of days. And um, you just want to, you know, get started. The first thing is, you know, how you are advertising your business. Um, I started out with these little small cards. Um, started putting those out and, you know, they were small as I was giving them out, you know, to some people who they saw me at the gas station. And, um, you know, at the time I didn't have the, the, the uh, bigger cards that I'm gonna show you next, but I gave those out, got some clients off of those. Um, my truck magnets that I have on my, um, my truck. I'll drop a picture of those in this video, but um, I advertise with that also. And I recently, shortly after the smaller cards, I reached it up and made these, you know, just a little catchy type of card, you know, that kind of catches the eye, you know, when you hang it on someone's mailbox or leave it at the doorstep or whatever, however you do it, you know, where, you know, the person will be able to see it. You know, just, you know, any little catchy little thing that uh, kind of stands out you know, with advertising and you will eventually get to a point in your business where word of mouth and, you know, you just being present in a certain neighborhood, you will have clients, you know, ringing your phone and email and text messages off the hook. So just, you know, if you new into lawn care, getting ready to start, let's just say your first time starting is today or Monday, your first time running your business, you know, just be aware of things like that, you know, how your work and, you know, how good it looks in the neighborhood you're in, it's going to stand out and how you treat your clients. They'll spread, you know, your business like wildfire. But um, anyways, the next thing I want to talk about is me personally, like I said, I'm going to start implementing this a little bit more than I was in my beginning because, you know, it takes a lesson to be learned to make you want to, you know, do things a little bit different. So having to explain to some people, you know, why this, why that, you know, I took upon myself and some people might say it might be overkill or whatever, but I went online, you know, everything's, you know, a click of the button now to go out here and get examples, watching people's pages, listening to what they're saying. But anyway... I went online and started looking at some more examples of invoices. Found this one online. Um, just a, a random invoice that's on Pinterest. You can go and get it. Um, you can write those up and leave them with your clients. You know, if that's how you want to operate things. Um, you know, writing down what you did, how much it cost yada 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 takes a lot of the headache out of explaining sometimes to some people once you've gone out and did the job you know why the price was what it was you know you can tell people in the beginning you know hey this is how much is going to be you know you're going to you're going to take a look at the job at hand and you're going to tell them eventually excuse the net but um eventually you know this is how much it's going to be well you know once you did the job and it's time for them to you know, send the money your way, here come the questions. Um, darn, that's a little high or whatever. So me personally, you know, learning from experience, you know, second year in, I'm going to start implementing something like that into my business. I'll have a record and the client will have a record, you know, 
So that should eliminate a lot of questions. Are they still gonna come? Absolutely. But um, it's time for me really now to put the rubber to the road when it comes to this because, you know, it kind of gets frustrating, you know, over time when it seems as if people are trying to make it seem as if, you know, you're trying to get over on them or whatever. But what people don't realize is it takes money to run a business. And granted, with everything going up, everybody wants, you know, I hate to sound repetitive in videos, everybody wants a cheaper route, but it, they have to understand that it costs money to operate all of your machinery, your string trimmers, your gas powered blowers, your mowers. It takes money to even pay the guys that has a crew with them. So, you know, in the end of the day, you know, without having to explain that much to them, you know, price wise, when it comes to paying your crew, but just, you know, why are you charging what you're charging for said task, you know, in like a small ball down. So I also made a, uh, like a, I would guess a uh, terms of services, you know, everything that I offer, I wrote it out on a piece of paper. And, you know, of course, everything that I needed them to really understand is in red and underlined you know why you know and this is how the pricing goes you know for services um granted as you know maybe if things have to increase i'll do another one you know showing the, the newly updated prices you know but for me i think it's going to work out in the end just having some kind of like grounds to stand on when it comes to running into some of these clients that want to give you headaches and i watched a couple of videos this week where you know a guy from a certain company said you know some people will make you want to say i don't need your business because you know instead of them just you know accepting you know what you've been doing for them for the longest they keep coming at you sideways telling you this that and the third so he made a video stating you know i don't need that type of business and i understood where it was coming from but anyway to get off that dead horse you know the next thing i got that i i keep a log of is all my business expenses I have you know in a little business book you know all my receipts and everything from you know throughout the the season started writing all that down in my book you know just to keep it up a lot of people do it online I'm just old fashioned. I like writing it down. I don't, I'm not all that big on messing with computers and trying to make charts and everything. That's just not my thing. I'll write it down, pencil and pen and go there and flip the page and, and find what I need. But oh well, just, you know, to everyone that's out there, like I say, especially the new people, make sure you have a way of documenting down everything that you have expenses in because when tax time come around and it's time to write that stuff off, you want to have a pretty good record of your business expenses. You don't want to be like, you know, for me, I learned the hard way from my, my first year in, you know, I had a pretty good amount of, you know, stuff written down that I had expenses in, but a lot of stuff I didn't. And the person that was preparing my taxes was like, you know, this coming year, being it'll be my, this year coming up will be my third year, you know, just have a lot of stuff, you know, documented and saved up. So I started saving receipts and writing down the price, you know, I spent in fuel and, you know, equipment and anything else that, you know, I have to eventually write off, you know, as a tax return in the end. So you want to make sure you have good documentation of, you know, your income, you know, rather if, you know, you're going through the bank, I know a lot of banks, you know, used to send out statements. Mine don't send out paper statements anymore. Everything is at the click of a button if you go through an app online or anything like that. But, you know, I had to go to my bank and get them to print out me a bunch of, you know, history last, you know, tax season. Like I said, learn from, learn from experience, you know, so I can go back and highlight everything that I had business expenses in. So make sure you do, you tackling that bull by the horns this this early in the season before tax season comes next year so you won't be you know running around like a bull in the china shop trying to get everything in order trying to find a receipt for this or a receipt for that or whatever 
just have that in order. And the last thing I want to go over is, you know, like I said, when it comes to documenting and having a track record, I went out and this $3 book from my Walmart has a um, carbon copies in it. Um, I'm going to start using that as well. I'm going to start, you know, once I go out, do an estimate when I walk around, you know, put my eyes on everything as you should always. Um, do your totals, write it up. I'm going to start putting the carbon copy on my terms of services and leaving it, you know, with the client, you know, rather if it's in the mailbox or on the doorstep or wherever, you know, being, being that in mind, I've already talked to the person, you know, on the phone or via text message, email, but you know, I, I just want to leave that trail to cover me, you know, in the end, you know, when it comes to once you start doing business with this person, you know, nothing comes out of the blue and, you know, sides like you and you don't know, you know, where is this coming from? So my biggest point in this video is documentation and, you know, keeping up with, you know, everything going on with your business. You know, you can run a business, but you don't want to run it to the point to where you're not really paying attention to exactly what's being, you know, done in your business, especially if, you know, you have employees that you have to keep up with and things like that. So with that being said, you know, just at the end of the day, make sure your documents that everything are in order. Um, when you go out and, you know, meet these new clients that you're going to start dealing with, um, you kind of already know the, the clients that's grandfathered in who, you know, you don't have any issues out of. Everything is, you know, boom, you, you cut, mow, you got your payment. But you're going to have those clients that's going to come with the text messages and everything telling you, you know, or word of mouth you're hearing from somebody else saying, you know, this, that, and the third. So I personally recommend to anyone that's coming up new, including myself, it's my second year, to have documentation and stand on your reasoning and stand on firm on your business. Um, don't let people run your business. You know, it's to the point to where, you know, if you have to dismiss someone, that's what you have to do so you can have some peace. You know, you're in this business to do what you do. You're doing what you love to, and you're doing it to, to make income. So just take my words of advice, you know, to stand firm. Don't let anyone run you over when it comes to you, how you operate in your business. I'm learning this my second year in and next year it will definitely be concrete. You know, this is my price. This is why I'm operating like this. You know, I'm giving you a breakdown, you know, how my services are. You know, it should come as no shock. So again, you know, let's keep a trail, let's keep a paper trail of everything that you got going on. Um, especially when you're getting these new clients, if they start giving you a hassle, you know, they can, they got two options. They can agree or say, no, thank you. Just that easy, but anyway, just wanted to shoot that quick video. Hope everybody, you know, likes, comments, subscribes. It's just your first time to the channel. You know, let's leave some feedback. Drop your comments down in the comments below. Um, this is Simon from Grand City Lawn Care on this lovely Saturday morning. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Y'all be safe out there and ready to rock and roll. You know, start Monday. I'll start tomorrow with my commercial property. But y'all be safe out there. Catch y'all on the next one.